At Roland Garros this year, Mohamed Safwat made a little piece of history. Fantastic. I, I know I was one lucky loser, but I didn't know that I will get in today in the first match in the centre court against a top player, one of the best in the world. It was a dream that to play on the, on the Philippe Chatrier. Never had a chance to stand the foot inside, but today I had a chance to play, so it was really fantastic. And I was happy and I enjoyed it every moment from the beginning till the end of the match. I felt like it was a surreal experience. I'm actually watching an Egyptian on F court Philippe Chatrier of all the courts in the world, which is, Roland Garros is very special for Egyptians. We grew up watching it. It was free to air on TV all my life growing up and just seeing an Egyptian actually play on that court was very special. Definitely huge for him. He's 27 years old. He's been at it for a while. So I think it was very well deserved and well earned. Safwat became the first Egyptian to play in the main draw at Roland Garros for 22 years, replacing the injured Victor Troitschke, who'd been due to play on court Philippe Chatrier against Grigor Dimitrov in round one. I knew that I needed to play and I cannot take, like, let my emotion control me. I needed to perform because at the end it's a tennis match. I feel like always believe that with all the respect, you know, Grigor is one of the best players, but if I go on court and I'm not stepping like I have a chance to win, then I'm, there's no need for me to go to step on court. He was nervous in the beginning, which is very understandable. He probably found out just before the match that he was going to play, which is not an easy situation. And then add to that, it's court Philippe Chatrier. The dimensions of that court are just huge. You hear even like seasoned pros saying that that is a court if you haven't hit on it before. It takes them a while to adjust, and I think that's what happened with Mohammed. I think at some point he realized, I have to really soak it all in. I have to really live up to this occasion. And I think he did himself proud. Mohamed had never previously played in the main draw at a Grand Slam and grew in confidence as the match progressed, eventually losing 6-1, 6-4, 7-6 to the fourth seed. He's one of those people who every single week, week in, week out, he's learning more and more. The best thing about him is that his mentality is changing. He's telling himself there are no limits, doesn't matter what the surface is, and he's putting in the work. This is if it's something that shows us that we're not only Egyptian, we're Arab or African. We can really go as far as we can, you know, if we just believe and we just work hard and we, we have the right knowledge and the, the right mentality, yeah, we can do that. The fact that he was on TV, you switch on your TV and you can see him play at Roland Garros, young kids will look at that and feel, OK, I want to do that too. So I'm sure after what Mohammed did today and hopefully a lot more to come, we're going to see more people coming up. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the 2018 French Open champion is crowned. And take a bow, Julien Benito. The Frenchman calls time on a stellar playing career. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.